This is the cremation chamber. Uh, we have here the corner one. And behind it is the chamber cover where you, the uh, cadaver will be put inside. Then there is this a door for and the ash collection chamber at the bottom. And here we have the scrubber for blue gases. And we have the second the second burner here. So there are two burners for this chamber. This is the full view of the cremation chamber here. And again the flue gas will pass through this duck here and down is the second burner and here is the uh, scrubber scrubber insulation and we the stack up there we will add more more length of the stack depending on the site here is the induced drop pan for the scrubber that will produce pressure for the pluga so that it could be sent to the stack this is the overall picture of the cremation chamber about seven meters length and two meters wide this cremation chamber is complete with air pollution control device a two-stage mixing motor for the water scrubber this will ensure that no dust will ever be uh, getting out of the stock once it is produced by the cremation chamber. This is the control panel for the cremation chamber and at the back of it is the fuel tank diesel that will be used for the cremation. The bone crusher after the cremation, the, the, bone, the bones will be uh, crushed in this uh crusher here